Hi, John Barry here with EasyClearPool.com coming back at you with another video as we're getting into the 2021 swimming season. Temperatures are starting to shape up where I am here in Oklahoma, 70s uh, today, 70s and 80s all of next week after in the 50s earlier this week. So it is starting to warm up the water. We'll start warming up and of course start swimming. Now what I want to talk about in this video though is there is unfortunately a chlorine shortage. It is a big chlorine shortage. If you go to the stores right now you may have next to impossible of a chance of getting any chlorine tablets. Now speaking of the chlorine tablets, uh, there was a plant or a factory last year that got hit by a hurricane, caught fire. There's only like two plants uh, really that makes the majority of the chlorine in the United States and well that has left us to a shortage and if you do find it expect to pay up to twice as much uh, where normally you could get a container say a 50 gallon uh, or 50 pound chlorine tablet bucket for about 100 bucks to 119 on the high end even 99 to 89 on the low end you can expect to pay probably about 160 or more for that same bucket if you land one in a store or online plus shipping if you are online so that brings me to a few options i'm going to give you to where if you are unable to locate chlorine tablets or are just running low and want to conserve some you have on hand from last year i'm going to give you a few tips you can do uh, to go ahead and help uh, get your pool clean, open, and sanitized uh, with alternative methods. So the first method is one I've talked about before, actually even used uh, for a couple of years, several years in fact, uh, to sanitizing my pool, and that is simply using liquid bleach. Now you can go ahead and get bleach at your local market. Uh, you'll want to make sure you get the stronger of at least 6%. I've even seen 8%, but you want to try to avoid 3% bleach, some of the lower expensive brands, because you're going to end up pouring a lot more bleach in to get the same effect and ultimately not save money from that lower brand because you're going to be using more. You want to make sure it's regular bleach and does not have any additives in it. And then you can actually get an app. It's called Pool Pal based on the criteria you put in that app, of the gallons of water you have, uh, the, the current chlorine level uh, that you have, and it will guide you to tell you how much bleach you should add to the pool. You can do that daily, and you can keep your pool sanitized using bleach. As far as I know, you can still find bleach, of course, with the chlorine shortage. It wouldn't surprise me if a bunch of people stockpiled bleach, and then that becomes a shortage as well. But right now, bleach is a safe alternative you can use. It is not an alternative to chlorine because it's still chlorine, but it's an alternative to chlorine tablets if you're unable the to. second bleach. option is bromine. Now, this is typically what's used in a hot tub or a spa. It's also used in uh, indoor uh, uh, swimming pools as well uh, because it has less of a chlorine smell and you don't get the fumes as, let me let this plane go overhead here. The disadvantage of living two miles from an Air Force base, so uh, noise is gone. As I was saying, bromine, is uh, it's stronger, it's gonna cost a little more, uh, but you can go ahead and chlorinate your pool with it as well. Now with bromine, you'll actually keep it a little higher. If you're using bleach or like you'd use chlorine tablets, you probably wanna keep it to about one to three parts per million of bromine. You can actually keep it closer to three to five parts per million to keep your pool sanitized. And that is a complete alternative. If you cannot find chlorine tablets, you can get you a bromine floater or even put them in a chlorinator and you can go ahead and have it go through your pool, sanitize your pool, and that is a little bit of a more expensive way, but if you can find that, that would be a way to go ahead and sanitize your pool uh, when there is a chlorine tablet shortage. Now, I'm also gonna give you two other ways you can reduce your chlorine. Now, these are not gonna be uh, complete substitutes, so if you have some chlorine, 
available. This will reduce the amount of chlorine you add to your pool, uh, but it, you're going to cost a little bit of money to get it set up. The first one is by using an ozone a generator. Now, I really don't recommend this method. It's complicated. You're going to have to get you some hardware installed. It's going to cost you quite a bit uh, to get it set up. And then one of the ways you could do it though is if you were to get you an ozonator is you would go ahead and connect it to your hose and piping system and then it would go ahead and the water would run through it and without chemicals it's going to go ahead and use some UV light is one method and it's going to go ahead and kill bacteria as it runs through your line. So by the time it re-enters your pool it's putting cleaner water in the pool. Now I said cleaner because it's not going to remove all of the bacteria. There's going to be uh, some uh, that is going to remain in your pool, so you're still going to need to use a little bit of chlorine. Uh, not a lot. It'll probably kill 80 to up to 95 percent of the bacteria that you want to get removed from your pool, uh, but that 5 or 10 percent still going to be there. So if you were to use, you know, a 50 pound bucket of chlorine for the season, you could actually probably get by with five or 10 pounds or less using this method. You just need a little, maybe uh, one tablet would last you uh, per, uh, you know, dissolvable amount compared to three or four. Um, you'd probably also be able to use smaller uh, chlorine sizes as well, tablet sizes, or you could just pour in small amounts of bleach, but you would not need the same amount uh, just to do the extra 5% that you need to do. Now this last method I want to talk about is one I'm actually considering adding and not just because of the shortage. I actually have plenty of chlorine. I have a 50 pound bucket uh, that I received before the shortage, but it is mineral supplements. Now with this what you can do, and I've actually used this on my uh, soft tub, and you basically put it in your uh, filter in your soft tub and then you use a lot less chlorine instead of needing two or three parts per million less than one uh, those mineral supplements will kill most of the bacteria however there's going to be a little bit a little bit that it's not going to kill so you're going to need to keep a chlorine level of about 0.5 parts per million 0.5 to 1.5 try to keep it under one and those mineral supplements will get the majority of it. You put just a dash of chlorine in it. So if you're just on a, 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 a rationing of chlorine and need to stretch what you have, you can get one of these for a little over a hundred bucks. It'll be a dispenser that you connect to your pool plumbing system and then it will go ahead and go through that dispenser. You'll put you a cartridge in it which should last you the majority of the season if not all of the season and then you're just going to add a very small amount of chlorine. Just keep it at 0.5 parts per million and you're good to go. The minerals is also going to allow you to use, since you're using less chlorine, you're not going to have the taste, the smell, and the irritation, the eye irritation. So there's a lot of benefits of using the mineral method as well as just from a shortage standpoint. It's actually something I'm thinking about doing, and if I do, I'll show a video of how I install it. You'll typically want to put that dispenser as the last thing before the return goes into your pool, or if you have a chlorinator, just maybe right before the chlorinator, then the chlorinator hooked to your piping system, then it goes in your pool, and that's going to help keep your pool fresh, clean, and a way to just ration or reduce the amount of chlorine or sanitizing you need to do uh, when it comes to uh, keeping your pool clear. Now you can find all of this information at easyclearpool.com slash tab alternatives. If you want to just take a look at this, a refresher of it, I'll have these four methods right there at that website. Uh, so you can go ahead and remind yourself if you're at the store or something and want to look at it go ahead and check out that website as we got another plane coming by every I'm telling you every 10 minutes or less this happens it almost makes it impossible to film a video uninterrupted in this backyard well I hope you enjoyed this video and got a little bit of information out of it if you did click the like button if you didn't click the dislike button if you click the dislike button I'm gonna make your pool water code all season long you guys have a great day
be sure and check one of these videos uh, out that YouTube recommends. And I will see you guys in the next video. Happy swimming. Welcome to 2021. It's going to be a great swimming year. Can't wait to get in the pool.